Hi, in this video, we'll be looking for how do we create a new PowerPoint find? How do we open, close and save? Let's see that one by one. So uh, right now, I, I do not have anything on the screen. If you want to create a PowerPoint for the very first time, what you can do is you can go to this start. Yeah, so you can go to this start all programs. Start all programs and I'll search for the PowerPoint file over here. Microsoft PowerPoint. MNOP, yeah, so PowerPoint 2016. So right now version which I'm using is 2016, the latest version, the day when I'm recording. And you'll get this kind of window available here. So if you see on the left hand side, these are the files which I have opened recently in the yesterday which I've opened, the last week which I opened and the other files itself. On the right hand side, if you see, these are the different templates available which are recently used by, you know, last time which I used recently. If you want for some, let's say for particular business process, so you can select here as the business templates. If you want for the education industry, you can select this education. Or if you want for the labels and charts, you click on that. So once you click on that, those uh, related templates will be downloaded and you can use it the, for that purpose. Otherwise, if you do not find any relevant template in this area, what you can do is you can just keep your cursor in this place and search in the internet and you can get the files available, the templates. So right now, let's say I'll select the blank template. That's a blank presentation. I'll click on that. Once you click on this blank presentation, you see the name of the file is presentation one. The default file name is presentation one. And this is the, uh, what do you call it? The screen which is um, displayed when you create a blank presentation. If you see on the top, that's a quick access toolbar. Quick access toolbar, this is a home tab. And these are the ribbons available. The ribbons available here. Every tab has different ribbons. Same way, there's a slide which you can write and the display to the user. And this is the slide sorter, slide sorter, where, what you can do with this. Next, I have something as notes. So if I click on this button here at the bottom, this is the place where the user notes are written, speaker notes. So when you when you just, when you are presenting something, if you want to read and present that time, you can write the speaker notes over here. And uh, on the right hand side top, if you see, this is the place where you can just close, minimize, maximize your PowerPoint window. And at the bottom, that's a scroll bar, which will zoom or minimize according to your requirement. See, this is, minimizing and same way if you want to maximize that's a hundred percent which is maximizing so this way that's a screen of the powerpoint how we can work on that now this was opening and creating a new file what about saving a file suppose you type here something i'll just type here over here i'll just type here as tutorials point tutorials point that's it and now if you want to save it you can just go to the file and you can select the option as save and it will ask you what location do you want to save the file do you want to save the file on this pc or some other location so i'll say yes on this pc or uh, and i'll select this yesterday you have opened the f drive day before yesterday the last week you have opened for the desktop i'll say i want to save on the desktop click on the desktop and you see that's a desktop location and the name of the file is tutorials point i'll write here as presentation tutorials point presentation and the uh, save as type is PowerPoint presentation and, and I'll click on save. That's it. So once I click on save, the name of the file has changed. That's a tutorials point presentation and on the desktop it is saved itself. Now, if you want to open some other file, what you can do is you can just go to this file and you can select this open, click on open and you see these are the different files whichever you want to open. Click on any one file which you want to open. Let's say I want to open this office etiquette. So I'll click on this. Yeah. So if you open this open and uh, let's say I'll open for introduction. Yeah, that's the introduction for AngularJS and this way you can open any file which is required. Otherwise, you can go to this file, click on open and if you want to browse for some other location, you can just click on browse and you can select the file whichever is required. Let's say I want this file, I'll click on open and this AngularJS, some other file will be opened here. So these are the different uh, slides in that PPD presentation available. And uh, if you want to close the file, right now I have two files which are open. So I'll just click on this file yeah so i'll just click on this file and if you want to close it you just click on close so the file will be closed again if you want to close this uh, part one introduction i'll just click on this close button and you see the file has closed similarly if you want to close this file again so i'll just click on this file and click on this close so this way the file has closed but the application or the software has not closed the software which is powerpoint so if you see there's no file powerpoint file but there's the software which is available so if you want to close this software also you can use the sec second option that is you can go to this uh, you can just cl uh, click on this cross button on the right hand side corner or else you can press a shortcut key as alt f4 and the file will get closed 
So I'll use this method, I'll just click on close and this way the file which I've opened created, this file will be closed itself. So I hope you have understood how to create a new file, how to open a file and how to save and close it. That's all for this video.